you need to know yourself so much. You need to have a PhD in yourself. <laughs> so much that, you know, nobody will come and tell you otherwise. What and is not, yeah. Tell you what you are not. Mm -hmm. and because mm -hmm. you really know yourself. So if somebody is saying, oh, this is what you do, uh, okay, I mean, uh, you know that, no, this person is wrong. Mm -hmm. You can't tell me, I, I know yeah. myself. You know? Please, can you introduce you. yourself to our audience? Thank you for having me. My name is Timito Bayazan. Thank you so much <laughs> for having me. Thank you. Thank you so much, Timito It's really great to have you here today. We have the floor, Timito I never have any question for you yet. Yes, mind you. <laughs> but I just want you to just open, launch it out for us, please. All right. Thank you so much once again. I believe that if nobody knows um, their identity, I mean, that person is lost mm -hmm. in the world. Yeah, that's true. So um, Tony Robinson said something that I actually put down. He said that identity is a credible, invisible force that controls your whole life. Wow. I know that not many people sit down to ask themselves this question, that who am I? Mm. You know, there was a time I had to like, you know, I sat myself down like, okay, who am I? What am I about? What am I doing in this mm. world? I mean, mm. here is why I am here, right? Yeah. So you don't ask yourself those questions. It means that you can't be in control of your life. That's, That's what you're saying here. Mm -hmm. You can't be in control of your life because you don't know what you are about. Mm -hmm. You don't know why you are here. You don't know what yeah. you are here for. Yeah. You can't, you know, you can't just be in command and in total control of your whole life mm -hmm. and then for you to ask those questions put answers and mm -hmm. or give answers to the question who am i then mm -hmm. you need to be able to break it down yeah so that comes to like self-awareness and self-discovery you need to break it down and ask yourself okay who am i so you you can break it down into purpose your personality your personal mm -hmm. value mm -hmm. you know your priorities mm -hmm. your passion and yeah. even your personal interests. So if you break it down like that, you'll be able to take each one and then, you know, you view them, you break them down like, okay, for purpose, what is my purpose? Mm -hmm. I mean, what am I for? Why did, mm -hmm. you know, God sent me down here? I mean, mm -hmm. just for me to come here, you know, just give birth, procreate, and then go back. I mean, is that the reason? I mean, everybody yeah. does that. Mm -hmm. There must be a unique reason, you of know, course. there's a unique sparkle to everyone. So there must be a unique reason why God sent you down here to 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 be here. Yeah. So you know, I I there was a time I was looking at purpose. And I'm like, okay, if nobody has purpose, then it means that maybe, um, okay, let me put a caveat here. Like, okay, I'm a Christian, and yeah. sometimes I just want to chip in. You know, <laughs> so I get this. Please write right on. <laughs> Okay, so when you became born again, you don't just um, disappear or you don't just, um, after becoming born again, you just, you just, you know, vanish into the thin air or you just go to mm. heaven like that. Mm -hmm. You are still here because there's yes. a purpose one. So you should be able to like sit yourself down and find what that purpose is, mm. you know, what are you here for? Then personality too. What kind of person are you? Mm. What kind of person are you? What, what triggers you? What um are those things are those things that um uh people know you for you know they know okay if this is uh if you talk about these things then you are talking about me mm. you understand so what are those things that are your personality the things that are your weaknesses the things that are your strength things that you 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 love you love doing I mean mm. things that you 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 just something that everybody can describe you to be so that that's your personality. And then when you come to talk about personal values, your personal values are, uh, you know, I see personal values as your kind of um, internal compass, something that, um, you know, leads and directs your life. You must have values. If you yeah. don't have values, you'll just be everywhere at every time. You mm -hmm. don't know what you're doing. Just, and if you're everywhere at every time, I mean, then you're not going anywhere. It means you don't have a destination. Exactly, yeah. So you must have personal value that, you know, would direct you like, oh, what 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 are the things that you know i want to i want to people to know me for i want to stand by like for me now one of my personal value in fact the very first one is spirituality 
Wow. Do you understand? So yes, it means yes. that if anybody is saying some things about me, or maybe they want to talk about some things, they, they don't want to call me there. They'll just say, oh. Oh, if it's the movie, don't go there, don't this go there. It's even good. You know, it's even good. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like a, a, a kind of spiritual, spiritual like that, but, you know, I love God, you yeah. know, and I try to do things that would please him as grace would, you know, enable me. So, you know, when people know you for some things, they will just like, ah, you say, don't even go there. You know, it mm. even kind of set some boundaries for you so that people don't just bring anything to your table. They mm. know that, okay, if you ask her to go to that place, of course, she wouldn't go. So, you know that, that you have some values in place and those values, they just help you. They help you to, you know, direct your life. They help you to not just, you know, just live life anyhow. Mm. So, we have from is priorities also is something that everybody must have you know there must be um some things that are the very top most like upper uh, at the top um um how would i put it now top parts of your life and you know there are others that are maybe not at the bottom or maybe at least the 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 um, middle part or downward parts so but i also want to say that priority also changes with time yeah, you know, just like I yes. I'm a boom now. So my priority before I became a mom, a new mom, might be that okay, it is God, and after God, maybe work. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Maybe family and all that. But the moment I become a mom, then the priority changes. Yeah, to support, um, family and then work and all that. That's true. So That's you true. know, with all this, you'll be able to know the kind of person you are. And mm -hmm. you know, coming to personality, I forgot to mention that. You need to know yourself so much. There's a coach of mine that says to that. You need to know yourself so much. You need to have a PhD in yourself. <laughs> so much that, you know, nobody will come and tell you otherwise. What I mean, is not, yeah. Tell you what you are not. Mm -hmm. and because mm -hmm. you need to know yourself. So if somebody is saying, oh, this is what you do. Uh, okay, I mean, uh, you know that, no, this person is wrong. Mm -hmm. You can't tell me, I, I know yeah. myself. You know, yeah, yeah. So, you know, when it comes to passion, so passion is um, among those, um, you know, things that, you know, helps you to know who you are. Passion, you know, what your heart burns for. You say, ah, we know Timmy Topper, you know, our heart burns for things like this. What, what you know that is dead to your heart. Mm -hmm. What you know that, okay, if they wake you up in the middle of the night, maybe not literally in the middle of the night, but, you know, you know, it's, it's something that you just wake up to do. Like for mm -hmm. me now, I, I just um, find pleasure and passion for singing. You wow. know, so if you wake me in the middle of the night to sing, of course, I'm good to go. That's and great. of course, teaching also, teaching also. Mm. You know, so something like that, you are something that when we are having a conversation about, we want to say, oh, this is what, you know, Okoyemi is good at. This is what Okoyemi will have solution for. This mm. is what, you know, dead to our heart. You understand? Mm. Something that, you know, is very important to you. And then yeah. you have on your personal interest. You know what you you love doing, what um um you do to unwind. You know something that you like to catch fun with. Your interests, mm. your favorite things, your hobbies. Mm. You know, so those things put together from purpose, personality, personal values, priorities, passion, and then personal interests okay. put together lay a basis of who you are. Who yeah. Am I? Yes. You, I think that's I've said something. You know, <laughs> yeah, I that's want true. To, do you want to? Do you want to say anything? Oh, <laughs> well, like you, you know what? The, the session is looking like it is even me that is really learning today. <laughs> Like wow. I'm learning a lot already, and, and I can really resonate with all of these things about you know knowing your own self. When you when you are fully aware about yourself, it is difficult for someone else to just bring um on LD information to your ears or just say something about you and to get to you because you already have a full understanding of who you are, like your personality. And as you said, with power, it's, it's I don't want to be repeating everything you just said, but I just want to say that that. <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> I love the, that. The, the priority is, it, it changes with time. As we evolve as a lady and even as individuals, our priorities differ day by day and things that we do. So thank you. Spot on. <laughs> thank you. Thank yeah, so you. do you have other things that you still want to enlighten us? Yeah. Or you want me to start asking I, questions? <laughs> uh, okay, let me just say one or two things before you get into asking questions. 
um, because somehow I might just be answering your questions while saying all this already. Okay, okay. So yeah. I wanted to talk about self discovery. Okay. You know, self discovery is not something that I just say, ah, I've discovered myself. This is, mm. you know, mm-hmm. self discovery is a lifelong journey. It's yeah. something that you need to discover because the, the way you are or the, the kind of things you like, or the kind of habits you exhibit when you were far back in secondary school, may not mm-hmm. be what you, you're doing now that now, you are, yes. in, you are in working class and all that. So it involves um, exploring your potentials, your gifts, your talents, you know, things mm-hmm. that you're good about now. You may not be good in something far back in maybe 2012 uh, and all that. And now, yeah. you know, when we are doing that, you just saw that you stumbled on that thing, and before you knew, yeah, now do that. You are very, you are yeah. very good at. Yeah. Maybe that. when you come to talking, you are not the talking type, and then you just found out that you can talk, and then you just began talking. <laughs> Looks like you are talking to me stylishly. I'm not talking to you. I do not. I do not even know that, right? <laughs> so, yeah. you know. So I I I did the three pillars of self discovery. You know, mm. we have um self exploration, we have discomfort, and we have inten- intentional yeah. living. And this um self exploration is something that you know I really want to talk about. You want to know what are your desires, what are your strengths, mm. what are the things that you know makes you um um thick, makes your heart beat. Mm. Let me put it that way. What are the things okay. that you know, gets you going you know when they mention it you know that oh i love this i mean mm-hmm. I'm a good friend, yeah you know? one of the things that you know when people say to you you know that oh it gets you in a mood you, mm. know, you don't like things mm. you know for mm. some people they would say i just I, I don't take nonsense i don't take rubbish i'll give them bas- 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 <laughs> 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 underlying it is anger it might be an anger issue Oh. You know, that you have not, you have not, you know, taken care of. It mm. might be a from the past that you have not healed from. You yeah. understand that? You are saying it as, okay, you don't just take rubbish. You don't just, until you sit yourself down, then you begin to ask yourself questions. What mm. What is triggering this? What is it that, uh, you know, about me that when I'm mm. with people and say these things about me, it gets me in a mood. It sets mm. me mm. at um, oh. raging or start burning with anger. You know, you need to know these things. Yeah. You need to know, um, maybe like your self esteem. Do you have people seeking tendencies? Nobody is born with a proper seeking tendencies, right? Mm-hmm. So you need to know, okay, if I have this, what what's what was the thing that brought about this? What brought about this? Is it from when I was younger? Is why mm-hmm. why people to approve me before you know I before. can be fine. So it's, a, it's an issue of self-esteem, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. So that's for self dis- um, self-exploration. Exploration. For, yes, and for discomfort. You see, discomfort is not always about you can you can get to know yourself from discomfort because when discomfort comes sometimes it just gives you a message. It mm. makes you a better person. Wow. It's, you know, it just refine you and make you an edifice to the world. You understand mm. discomfort is not always like a, a maybe when you start experiencing some, some discomfort you know in this part of the world where i am now in this climate you can begin to think that it is the village people now uh, like you said before uh, you know it's not always about village people I yeah mm. discomfort you know so if i have started championing you know um great um courses just because they found a message in their, in their discomfort. Wow. They, 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 they found something that, you know, it was that thing that now, you know, cremated or, you know, you know, um, threw them out. You that know? gave so them the idea, out, the creativity. I understand. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we just started like that. Mm. So discomfort can come in such a way that it can make you come into what you do not even know you can mm. do. Yes. So you fall into that thing and then you will never know that, oh, I have um strength to do this thing. Mm-hmm. I have the resilience of this. I have, uh, you know, a kind of um talent for such a thing. Mm-hmm. You will never know you can be diligent at a thing until, mm-hmm. you know, you fall into that into that thing. Yeah, so that's for this comfort. 
and then of course intentional living i just want to say that for intentional living when you have come to know yourself it will help you to live better mm. it help you to live an intentional life because you know yeah. what you're about mm -hmm. you know what is about you you know your purpose you know what you don't begin to compare yourself to other people mm -hmm. you don't say ah these ones that have gone uh these ones have gone ahead of me because you don't even know those people's story yeah so like, every in your life you are relaxed you have peace of mind you don't begin That's to share true. well you don't panic you are fine because you know yourself you know where you're going to mm -hmm. you know what um uh the season of your life you understand what you're about in that season of your life so it makes you to live intentionally you are not everywhere at every time mm -hmm. you live intentionally yeah wow thank so, you okay okay <laughs> Yeah, I was very, I'm just trying to be very careful not to interrupt because we have to get all the learnings. <laughs> okay, yes. Yeah, so, so about that discomfort thing, it's very, very profound. I missed every other also. The thing is about discomfort, sometimes when we're in a discomfort situation, like it actually helps us to, to think like more creative. It helps us to think mm -hmm. outside the box, like, okay, what can you do to bring solution to this problem that you are in? Because you're not just the only one facing it. Other people might also be facing it. So how can you save yourself and even people coming ahead from this particular problem? And that's where the creativity comes in. And you just see yourself that you are moving on, you are moving on, you are progressing. And also talking about um the first one about exploration, self-exploration, I was just going to liken it to it. Maybe, you know, you travel to a new place and you are trying to get to know places. You are saying, ah, okay, this is a market. So, okay, this is this uh, bus stop. Okay, this is that. So this is just the same with our own self. Even with your own self, you can decide to you can decide to explore and okay, these are the things I actually like. These are the things that actually get to me. These are the things that I actually don't really like to say. I like to talk about. I say unconsciously. Thank you so much for all these wonderful, wonderful things. So our audience, I'm sure you're learning a lot about every of these factors, the intentional living and every other thing that has been mentioned, all this contributes to the lady and herself and how to live a purpose-driven life. you guys really enjoyed today's episode, I'm sure you've learned a lot of things in today's episode. Please don't forget to like, don't forget to share, don't forget to subscribe, share with friends and family. And let's enjoy this season together. I hope you guys have been evolving in your space, in your area. I really love your comments, your um your comments your contribution so far thank you so much it really means a lot to me <laughs> please don't forget to share with everyone around you let's share this gospel let's share this gospel <laughs> let's share this good news and i'll see you again next time bye